Yep, there we go, supplies delivered. And I think just in time as well, because it sounds like they're about to uh, turn up. It really sounds like they're driving a lawnmower, I'm going to be honest. There it is. Oh, would you look at that? That's the gun down. There's the other vehicle. Was it parked out the front there this entire time? Okay. It was quicker than I was. But that's fine. We don't we didn't have any gear on us we couldn't lose. And we got our objective complete. So let's see about an assassination. We've got a traitor to kill. So let's grab ourselves another off-road and get straight on that. Oh, going back up to Oreo Castro. I wonder then if this APC is still going to be here. Oh, they got out of that town quick, didn't they? Alright, well... If they're still here, I don't see why the APC won't be. His vehicle's here. His mark is there. But of course we know that those don't exactly make sense all the time, do they? So there's a couple soldiers there. They're crowded around this building. Oh, look, he's back. He's got to be in here then, right? What was that? Okay, I don't see him, but the best way to draw this guy out is just to make a bit of noise. He will come running for this vehicle no matter what. So if I park to give myself a bit of cover in this building here... I can stand by the door and wait for him to turn up. It's not like that. And then I can just like go, Whoa, wait, I don't have any grenades. I'm pretty sure I've got grenades. Yeah. Just gotta drop them and pick them back up because that's still a bug. Get one of those all the way out there. It didn't actually go anywhere, did it? Hopefully they heard that. Now we just sit and wait for the trader to make a run for it. It would seem that didn't actually work. Let's see, what have we got on the back of this thing? First aid kits. Alright, what I might do is push up a bit, shoot a person, then run away. Or get close enough that that grenade might actually hit somebody. Let's wait a second and see what that does. It has done nothing. Okay, this is going to require a bit more of a direct approach then, it would seem. Can I get up here? Does see why I wouldn't be able to. There we go. Oh, they did notice the grenade. Um, ouch. Okay, if I shoot him, that should solve my issue. There we go. So we're fully engaged now. You should be on his way down. Now this is really quite weird, because the dreaded doesn't actually seem to have any interest in escaping.
Usually he runs straight for that vehicle and tries to get out. The whole point of the objective is that he then drives to the nearest base. The nearest air base, that is. Did I even get him? Yeah, I'm being pushed. Or not? Oh yeah, I am. I feel kind of stupid of throwing away those grenades now. Could have done some work here with them. Hmm, no, it's weird. As soon as I move away from them, like disengage even slightly, they just run back to the building. And the trader doesn't come to the car. Of course I have the issue here of not having the good armor again. If I could get to one of those bodies, it'd be fine, but I'm not going to be able to kill anybody if we're both just firing at each other. Because they're going to kill me a lot faster than I can put them down. Not even my boonie hat can protect me. In fact, there's a window at the front of this building here. Hmm, can't see anybody. There's one. He's down. I think there's only a few left. Right, the people we put down are starting to bleed out now. There's one. I can see the other. Now there's three, at least. I got some really bad shots off on the rest of them there. I think I got one? Yeah, that's one down. I'm missing a ton here. What's he doing? Is he healing? Well, he's down. Oh, my count was definitely off the four. I'm trying to listen, but all I can hear are people calling for help. I might have... No, I haven't done it. Okay. Oh, they're behind me now. Are you kidding me? You show yourself now? Okay, that guy seems to have gotten a bit relaxed about this whole situation. There's two there. Took a lot to go down. I'm almost out of ammo. Alright, whether or not there's anyone left, I need to start looting. Okay, um... I'll take that. Take that. Ooh, that NVGs, that's always good. I'll take their M4s. I don't need to take that Glock, so I've got those unlimited. Take the ballistic glasses. Oh, his gun fell from the sky. Alright, let's take what we can, and then get out of here. Oh no, that's not good. There's a smoke grenade, which means somebody's still up. Building's clear. Can't see anybody around here. That guy just died. Where did this smoke come from? 
It's quite concerning. I need somebody with a bag. Do you have a bag? No, you don't. See, I don't have room for any of these vests. In my little olive bag. Yeah, I hear him. There we go. Now then, let's just doubly make sure. Because we know what happened last time. So just clear upstairs. Well, at least I know my reactions are still working. Another Mark 11. Nice. He's got Beretta. Some ballistic glasses for me. Alright, let's just empty all of this stuff into the car now then. Ah, this guy's got a medic bag, that's good. Much higher capacity than what I'm carrying. Of course, full of bed kits, which we don't want, but... Still... Alright, I'll have that. I'm pretty sure I can fit a vest in the back of this thing. And these guys are all using a different type of Stanag ammo. So let me take this. They are all using... No, these guys got MA55, but there's this Mark 318 Mod Zero. So I can drop this MA55 because we have enough of that. Take the attachments, like the scarp specifically off this M4 and drop that because we have enough of those. Now we just can't fit the vest inside that bag. Which is a shame. Gonna have a nice stock of helmets by the time we're done here though. So let's take the attachments off of this thing. Maybe this bag will be bigger. Yeah, this guy's an ammo bearer. So he's got one of the big bags. Well, this is awkward. I'm pretty sure the driver's dead. I'm just going to sit here and watch this for a bit. This is actually quite, um, quite amusing. Uro Castro's hours now as well. They were amused by this as well. Now the best part is this should be full of gear. It's absolutely knackered because of course it is because I just rammed an RPG into it. But I can tell it, and it's surprisingly very operational. So engine off, what's this got in it? Yeah, a ton of stuff. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alice packs. We can fit so much stuff in these. And I might as well drop the RPG because I don't have any ammo for it on me anymore. See, I can actually fit two and a bit vests into this bag. So that's really going to speed up the looting process. Just got to empty out all the crap inside it first. And I'll take that with me. That's got an M203 on it. We haven't got one of those yet. Not unlocked at least. And all the grenades he's got in there too will be very useful. So let's take these. You know, I hope everybody gets as excited as I do about looting. This is probably my favorite part of the mission, to be honest. It's like after winning a hard battle, going around and picking up everything that you've, uh... You've created, that you've put down on the floor, ripe for the pickings. It's absolutely the best bit. Oh, this guy had a helmet as well, we may as well take this. A helmet's a helmet, right? There we go. He had some foul armor. Even though he's carrying. Oh, that does take foul magazines. Hmm, okay. A patrol.
control cap. Absolutely, I will have that. Okay, well, um, I'm not going to come back for that gun, because we've got plenty of those already. But I think... Oh no, there's one more body here. Yeah, we're just a couple bodies out from being finished. And pretty much everything fit into the offer at this time as well, so... I mean, that's not necessarily a good thing. It means we didn't actually pick that much stuff up. And I suppose we do have a full vehicle here. Especially, no, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the loadout we got. We got plenty of things. I may as well pick this gun up while I'm in the area. Bloody sieves. And if you're wondering why I'm so jumpy every time I hear one of those sieves call something out, it's because we've been here for like, well, you can see the GPS, you know exactly how long I've been here. I don't want to waste all that time on, you know, just getting shot. We're undercover. Oh, perfect, that means there's nobody else around here. Now, I can't fast travel because I'm towing something. But let's get this back to bears. Oh, actually, I'm going to be dragging another body around with me, aren't I? You see the guy still on the gun? Which means that when I garage this thing, that body's going to pop out, and that's going to be yet another body full of loot for me. Oh god, these things are like pinatas. I'm really glad it didn't explode when I hit it with the RPG. But I think it just goes to show as well just how effective lying down is to conceal yourself. Because I had enough time to like, stop looting, pull out my weapon, aim, and then unload into the guy in the gun and he didn't even see me. And if he did, I think he was too close to actually get any authority on my position because I was too low down. You know, relative to where he was. So yeah, if you hear anything, just lie down. Doesn't matter what it is. If you think there's danger, lay down. Probably one of the best tips you can give somebody for how to survive in this game, if they're new. I've just noticed as well our USAF aggression's gone all the way up to 24. So we're definitely going to have to do some uh, logistics missions next to get that back down. Otherwise we're really going to start running into some issues. The ideal scenario, I think, is going to be keeping that below probably 15 for as long as we can. And we're still not generating any manpower either, so we're going to need to get another town on our side before we can really do much. Okay, this might be a bit of an awkward drive. I need to get through here without killing my guys. And without blowing anything up, and I think we've just about gotten through fine. At least I know that's an effective roadblock though. Nothing's getting past there without engaging it. And look at that. I can touch off on a bomb. I'm quite obviously back in bears now. There it is, the red triangle of death. Hopefully not going to claim my life today. Okay. Let's put these tow ropes away. I'm being very careful here. Transfer to ammo box. Then I can drop off everything I'm carrying. Here we go. Put all the rest of this stuff in the car. There we are. And then transfer this to the ammo box. If I can get the prompt for it. There we are. We're starting to get unlimited attachments now as well, which is good. It's only a laser, but still, that's better than nothing. Right now, let's empty this thing into the box. God, why are there so many options for this thing? Transfer to ammo box. Now, please tell me I can garage this. There we are. And as mentioned, there's the body. So let's take his gear. 
And we can get this into the box now too. There we go. Park my off-road up so that it'll be saved when I reload the game because we need to get rid of this bomb. And let's have a quick look and see what we've got in unlimited supply today. So I've currently got my loadout, which is all the stuff I have unlimited amounts of. Any new rifles? Uh, nope, still the same ones. No unlimited scopes. We have lasers unlimited now. Not for the suppressors, or for the bipods. No attachments for the Glock. We've got a decent collection of vests, but still nothing unlimited. Got four Alice packs, hopefully they'll be unlimited soon. So we can always put in the off-road with us for looting purposes. Still don't have any helmets unlimited, but again, we're starting to get a bit of a collection. Three NVGs. Yeah, so nothing really new, just more of what we had. But, you know what, that's fine.